There are different types of graphs to represent an object's motion. One of those graphs is a distance time graph. For a GCSE exam, not only do you need to know how to draw a distance time graph, you also need to know how to interpret a distance time graph. The vertical axis is for distance and we usually measure distance in meters when it comes to physics. The horizontal axis is time. Even though we can represent acceleration uh, on a distance time graph using curves, your exam board tends to use just straight lines and diagonal lines. So on a distance time graph, if we have a horizontal line, it represents an object that is stationary. The object's not moving. If there is a slope or gradient, um, this means we get a diagonal line. The diagonal line will represent an object that's traveling at a constant speed. If the diagonal line has a greater gradient, or in other words, it is steeper, it means that it has a greater constant speed. An object that is stationary has a speed of 0 meter per second, so that's pretty easy to tell. But if we are asked to calculate the speed of um, a diagonal line on this graph, what we need to do is to find the gradients. I'll give you an example. Here is a distance time graph showing an object traveling at a constant speed. If you are to just take away one single point from this video, make sure you understand that on a distance time graph, the gradient represents the speed of the object. The question now is, what is the speed of the object between, let's say, 5 and 20 seconds? Think back to your lesson in math. You would have learned how to calculate a gradient. Remember rise over run? So on the graph, I'm going to mark out my triangle to obtain my gradient. This is my rise. So I take 4 and subtract one on my graph. So that gives me a distance of three meters. And horizontally, I get 20 minus five. That's gonna give me 15 seconds. So my speed, which is equal to the gradient, is going to be equal to the rise of a run, which is equal to 3 divided by 15. Now in physics, we don't tend to leave answers in fraction. So I gotta convert it into standard form. That gives me 0 0.2, don't forget the units, 0 0.2 meter per second. 